Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for May 15th of 2025 is titled A Plutonian Landscape. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an image from the New Horizons spacecraft taken on July 14th of 2015 as it flew by the dwarf planet known as Pluto. Now, this is one of the closest images. This was taken just about 15 minutes after the closest approach to Pluto. And we see a number of the mountains there on the one side, and we see the very smooth area on the other side. So Pluto was quite a surprise to astronomers in its very varied structure. So we saw mountains, and we saw flattened areas. We saw impact craters, and we saw evidence of flooding. Now, what we're looking at here, and in fact, everything you look at in this image is ice. So when we get to the very outer solar system, rock and metal, they exist, but they're way down in the core here. Pluto has no rock or metal on its surface. It is completely icy. Now, that doesn't mean just water ice. And in fact, this has at the temperatures of Pluto, things like nitrogen and carbon monoxide are also icy. So while we see some uh ice mountains. Some of these are likely water ice as well. We have to remember that the temperatures are hundreds of degrees below zero. So ice, as we think of it on Earth, does not behave like water ice on Pluto. It is completely solid and almost behaves like a rock in many ways. Now, if it is warmed up, it can melt and it can flow just as rock can be heated up here on Earth. So when we get to the outer solar system, we can have an icy volcanic activity, not just a rock that we're used to here on Earth. And in fact, the temperatures in the outer solar system would rarely get warm enough for rock to be able to melt the way it does in the inner part of the solar system with the larger objects there. But here again, we still are studying pictures taken nearly a decade ago by the New Horizons spacecraft, which is the only time we have actually explore, explored Pluto up close. Now, while we can study it from Earth, we can't see any details. We can't see things like the mountains here, which are incredibly tall, comparable to the tall mountains on the surface of Earth. And that's very large, considering that Pluto is significantly smaller than our own moon. So it's a lot larger mountains. And that happens on smaller objects because they don't have as strong gravity. So they can build higher mountains without them being pulled down by the intense gravity and leveled out. So sometimes we see even larger mountains on smaller objects, which might not be something you'd initially expect. So again, we're still studying the New Horizons data and we'll continue to do so as that will be our only way to really look at images of Pluto and its moon system up close. So that was our picture of the day for May 15th of 2025. It was titled A Plutonian Landscape. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Pinwheel Galaxy. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.